talk about the experience because I want everybody here to get a different perspective from foster and adopted uh, to uh, being a foster kid, emancipating out. I want everybody to just get a, a whole round, a well-rounded experience here of our, of our panelists tonight. So I was taken out of the home the first time for child abuse, which was physical abuse and mental abuse. And I was about five years old. Um, my mom was pregnant at the time with my next sister. And I was fortunate I went into a group home. And then after that, my godfather, who was the late Willie J. Wynn, he came and got me out of the system. You know, he, that's, that parents are so great, right? So my godfather came and he just said, you know, what do I need to do to get my daughter? And they let him have me. And then when I came to Las Vegas, so then I went back home. They worked really hard with my parents and they went through counseling and all that. And I came to Las Vegas. When we moved to Vegas, my first foster parents um, were really, really nice people. Really nice people. As a matter of fact, I owe a lot of my charisma from them because they made me hold my head up and told me not to be ashamed. And then I, <laughs> the system works a little differently and so I had to be moved to another home. And when I got moved to that home, again, really nice people, church people, the people I was originally with weren't church people. And, you know, the purpose of foster, the foster system, I believe, is to mentor, to provide guidance, to provide good counsel, to love them, to, you know, to be in that space for them. Especially when you know that that child is going to hopefully transition out. You know, one of the things that I've learned now as an adult is... <laughs> Your parents are your God, you know? And I say this all the time, you know, your parents, that's the only thing that you know about God is your parents. And so one of the hardest things is going into foster, going into the foster system and knowing that you're dependent, that that child is dependent on you. But one of the greatest things is that child is dependent on you. Everything that you can you have that moment to give, everything that you know about life and everything that you wish you would have learned to that child and then make a difference and make an impact in that little bit of time that you may have them. And I am so gracious that my foster parents, and you know, I'm still in contact with them, they did that. You know, they took the time to make the impact and they, they mentored me. And even as I matured out, they checked on me. They made sure I was okay. They called around to find out where I was. And so I appreciate, you know, I appreciate them even today because they did that. So they weren't just with me for that moment. They stayed with me for a lifetime. And I'm almost 40, and they still call the general. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Thank you. All right. Thank you.